Call, uh, <clears throat> call the meeting to order. Roll call. Uh, roll call. Mr. Bishop. Present. Mrs. Congdon. Present. Mr. Jovian. Present. Mr. Lazo. Present. Mr. Olivo. Present. Dr. Page. Present. Ms. Peliquin. Present. Seven present. We have a quorum. I'd like to welcome everybody to the uh, school committee meeting, Robert G. McKinney Council Chambers, Tuesday, September 22nd, 2015. Can we do the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Moving on to agenda item number three, public input. Is there anybody from the public that would like to address the school committee? <clears throat> we have nobody tonight. Moving on to agenda item number four, approval of minutes. A, meeting, of <clears throat> meeting minutes of September 8, 2015. Regular meeting. Do I have a motion to accept the minutes? Do I have a second? Second. Are there any additions, corrections, or deletions to the minutes of the meeting? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to abstain. No additions, corrections, or deletions? Uh, wait one second. I did have one. Uh, actually, I, when I read the report of the finance uh, subcommittee, I actually read a report, not the minutes, of the 8-2015 subcommittee meeting. The minutes have not been approved yet. So that's really the only change. So where it says under school committee, budget and finance subcommittee, Dr. Page read the, the minutes, it should say Dr. Page read a report. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor? Opposed? Abstention? One. Two. Abstention. Two abstention. I'm sorry. Moving on to communications is a typo. It's not supposed to be there. Moving on to agenda item number five, chairperson's announcements. I would just like to welcome Ms. Uh, Amelia Peliquin to the Southbridge School Committee, the newest appointment of the joint meeting of the town council and school committee. Uh, at this time, I'd just like to welcome you and looking forward to working with you. On, I'm very familiar with your workings on council and uh, you're a great add to the school committee. Thank you very much. I'd also like to congratulate uh, Diego Arroyo um, as chairman of the council. It's always nice to see the, the community, especially the youth of the community on the committee, to voice the opinions and carry the word of the high school and school system forward uh, from the student standpoint. I think that's very important. And we're always listening and trying to accommodate uh, the needs of the students. So feel free. I know you have a report later, so we'll, we'll recognize you at that time. One just quick reminder, I know everybody knows about it, the open meeting law training Thursday, September 24th, 6 to 8, in the council chambers here, um, town hall. Anybody can attend, I will be attending myself, and um, just wanted to give you a friendly reminder. That's it for Chairman's announcements, moving on to presentations. Do we have any presentations at this time? We do not. There are no presentations, moving on to reports, agenda item number seven. School Committee Budget and Finance, approval of minutes March 30th, 2015. Uh, Dr. Page. Yeah. So th this is just basically a correction on the agenda. I believe at an April meeting, we had incorrectly recorded the, the approval of those minutes from April 30th, 2012. So it's just a cleanup operation. So entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the March 30th, 2015. So, so moved. Okay. So, motion and a second. On the committee. Second. Only subcommittee members. Second, all in favor? Ms. Congdon and I. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Housekeeping. <laughs> Have to do it. Moving on to negotiation subcommittee. <clears throat> Mr. Bishop. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, at this time, we have two units whose contracts are uh, far behind. Uh, our food service workers haven't had a contract in over two years. And we met with them last week. We're underway. We hope to have that wrapped up as quickly as possible. Uh, certainly, we'd like to get it done before. Uh, I don't want to put a timeline on it, but it'll certainly be in short order. Uh, earlier this evening, we met with the uh, secretarial unit. They've been without a contract for over a year now. And once again, we'd like to wrap those up as quickly as possible. We want to be fair to the taxpayers. We want to be fair to our employees. And uh, I think we had. Uh, Two very good units, they're very productive meetings, and uh, we'll have final outcomes shortly, I hope. Thank you, Mr. Bishop. 
Moving on to policy, Mr. Jovan. Thank you, Mr. Chen. Uh, first off, uh, just I think Dr. Page had gotten mentioned, we do have a negotiation, I mean, a budget meeting tomorrow evening. Uh, yes, we do. Sorry. I, I, the only item that was on there wasn't a report, it was just the approval. Okay. So, so yeah, uh, one we do have a budget meeting tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Uh, as far as policy subcommittee, we have met uh, two times. So I'd like to thank uh, Ms. Congdon for uh, all the uh, information that she has brought forward. We are in the process of looking at um, some policies that we had uh, thought had not been approved. So we're, we have gathered that material. It is in the superintendent's office. And uh, Mr. Bliss and the staff there are uh, putting that information together. The minutes have been submitted to uh, Ms. Jarvis, and we should have them for our policy subcommittee meeting for approval. We'll bring those forward at a future uh, subcommittee meeting. We do not have a meeting scheduled uh, for a policy follow-up. Uh, and the reason for that is we have the DESE uh, review coming up. So we're going to hold off for the next uh, month or so um, as that uh, event is going to take a lot of time of central office. And because of the policies that are coming forward that we're just trying to get a good baseline, uh, we're going to go through the DSE review first and then uh, continue on the policy uh, work. We do have several policies for uh, second and first reading this evening. Thank you. Moving on to Superintendent Search, Ms. Condon. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, last Tuesday, the Superintendent Search Committee met to review initial ap applications and discuss candidates that had, had applied to date. The Search Committee, after conducting over 900 surveys and reviewing all of the applicants to date, then unanimously recommended um, Stephen Bliss as the most qualified candidate to the full school committee. After holding the hearings and conducting the surveys, an overwhelming amount of staff, students, and faculty felt that Mr. Bliss and um, his months with this district had proven himself not only the most qualified candidate, but the perfect fit for the job. In the past three months, he has created a team concept, and as someone had stated, he requires more than was ever asked of us, but he makes you want to work hard and accomplish the task for him. Statements were made that faculty had said he is at their buildings all day, and other staff said, what do you mean? He's at our buildings all day. Community members stated the first week of school charity events that were held, he was present at them, and old colleagues were welcoming to him. Other comments included that he works 14-hour days and already by 4.30 a.m. has sent three emails preparing for the day. His main focus is on the students of the district and mentors and supports his staff at all times. For the first time in a long time, the search committee felt that the district had tremendous momentum and leadership. The decision at that time was made to unanimously recommend Mr. Bliss to the school committee. And at this point, I am speaking for the superintendent search committee in our unanimous recommendation of Mr. C Stephen Bliss as the superintendent of schools. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. I'd just like to comment. I'd like to thank the um, superintendent search committee um, for a job well done. Uh, I think the leadership that was put forward by um, Jill Condon was outstanding. She's a taskmaster. She took um, she, she took the bull by the horns. Once she got going, it was quick. It was it was to the point, and it was there wasn't any gray area. It was always direct on the mission, and the mission was to look for a superintendent and to find the finest, most experienced member. And uh, I just would like to commend you as the chairman of that committee. A job well done, and uh, I'll tell you there isn't a task I don't think that you can can't handle um, as a school committee member. Thank you very much. Thank you. Moving on to the student representative of the school committee, we have a new student rep, Diego Arroyo. Diego, the floor is yours. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> My name is Diego Arroyo, and I'm the student representative. And I'm going to talk about the first day of school. So on the first day of school, in the morning, we were all called down to the we were called, called down to an assembly where they told us about all the new policies and all of the policies, even the old ones, to kind of enforce them and to show that every student knows what is expected of them. And because of that, it feels like a more academic setting and there is definitely less cell phones, less earphones around, and behavior is on the right track to getting back where it needs to be. It's not there yet, but it's getting there. And a lot of extracurriculars, like student council, they're getting ready for homecoming and they're starting fundraisers. 
National Honor Society actually has an upcoming car wash that's on October 10th, Saturday. It's $5, it's 12 to 4 p.m. We encourage everybody to go. Drama is also having, drama is also having an event coming up. It's one act plays, and it started and it's on October second at seven p.m. Friday night. We encourage, we also encourage everybody to attend. Thank you. Are there any questions of the student rep, Mr. Lebo? Just one question: Where is the car wash to be held at, Mr. Diego? Oh, I'm sorry. It's to be held at Uno's in Surbridge. Thank you. Uh, what day is the homecoming? Homecoming is... 16. I'm sorry. It's sometime in October. Okay, I'll get back to you on that. Thank you. 16. October 16th. Sorry. <laughs> Any other questions of the rep? If I may, just Mr. Chair, thank ahead. you very much. Diego, congratulations for being voted and for being here with us this evening. It always reminds us, and it's a way to really stay connected with the students. And thank you for meeting with myself and Principal Earls the other day in preparation for this evening. And we welcome your brother and your dad in the audience uh, today as well. So welcome, and uh, it's a credit. And just remember that we're here for you, this committee. I uh, can't speak for the committee, but we exist, and we're here to support the students whom we serve. And we have to give a lot of credit to the student body. And if you would please communicate our thanks, our administrative cabinet and school committee's thanks, I think, for um, really doing such a great job of adjusting to a lot of changes in the school. The, I think the school you left in June is quite different than the school you re-entered um, this year uh, in the fall. So we give you a lot of credit and, and please extend our sincere thanks. It is our hope that those changes help to pave the way for a brighter future for all of our students. Thank you. Thank you. No further questions. Moving on to the finance director, Mr. Latoy. Don't have much of a report this evening except to report that um, we forwarded uh, several documents along to Mr. Bliss, who has forwarded them along to uh, Budget and Finance, and we'll be meeting tomorrow night, um, updating salaries, updating uh, the budget, the reporting process that we'll be reporting out to everyone, um, and going over that. Thank you. Moving on to the superintendent, Mr. Bliss. Thank you, Mr. Lazo. I appreciate it. And uh, just to follow up on Mr. Latoy's uh, report, the business office has been incredibly busy along with a lot of our support offices, obviously, but uh, Mr. Latoy is, I, th I think, to be commended and his staff for truly dissecting uh, all of the staff changes and all of the budget for fiscal year 16. And tomorrow evening when we meet with the budget and finance subcommittee, uh, we will be presenting some uh, very robust and very rich uh, budget information and, and thank you to the Budget and Finance Subcommittee that has really helped us to peel back a lot of the layers of the onion and, and figure out where we are and, um, and, and that's just great. So thank you very much, Mr. Latoy, for that. Um, also just a sort of a shout out, if you will, uh, to Mr. Montigny and to the students who were part of the, the football hype video uh, that, that made its debut uh, last Friday. Uh, it's available and uh, readily available on YouTube, accessible on YouTube, and uh, it was just a great and very inspirational um, montage uh, to kick off the, the football season. Uh, last night at the, the Board of Education, uh, Commissioner Chester released uh, MCAS and PARC results from spring of 2015. Uh, results will be made publicly available this Thursday. Um, and so we are meeting as a cabinet. Our cabinet meeting day is this Thursday. One of our topics is obviously to discuss uh, not only how we're reporting, but more importantly, quite honestly, how we're responding uh, to, to MCAS results. And of course, we are still an MCAS administered district. Uh, but I would, and we will work hard over the course of the next few weeks and months to make sure the school committee is kept apprised of all of the discussions happening at the state level with respect to the park um, and whether the state ultimately decides to move to the park uh, platform for its annual assessment. Um, Mr. Jovan alluded to the fact that uh, the Department of Elementary and Secondary <laughs> Education last Friday night provided us with the district self-assessment tool. This is uh, the ramp up in anticipation of the district review. This is a comprehensive review covering six sweeping standards. And we have literally the space of from uh, yesterday until next Friday to compile uh, several hundred documents in response to the six standards. We will probably literally put everything together and have to drive it to Malden to make the deadline um, to deliver it to the DESE by next Friday, October 2nd. 
uh, and then the uh, DESE team will be out for the district review uh, later in October, around October 19th. So um, I just ask for patience from the school committee and from, from others as we work very hard, the team, over the next week. I will share with you the tandem with all of this document collection. It's also incumbent on all building uh, headmasters principals to make sure they're meeting with all, and the assistant principals, with all educators around goal setting for the 15, 16 school year. So literally over the next um, eight days, we have to do an enormous document collection effort and have to touch base and have a personal meeting with every educator around his or her goals for the school year. So um, that, that pretty much defines our existence. Uh, for, for the next week <laughs> or so. Um, the other is, I'm pleased to report that the SEA approved, that's the Southbridge Educators Association, approved the uh, memorandum of agreement with respect to the um, fall athletic changes that were uh, decided upon by the school committee. So I have an original of that document uh, that had been in its draft form presented to the school committee for Mr. Lazo's signature as chair, and it was unanimously approved by the executive board of the SEA. So they, they extend their thanks for memorializing that in that way. Um, and also we look forward um, in the, at the second school committee meeting of October, we'd like to include a, a central office report in your packet, which has in it a section from Mr. Latoy, a section from Ms. Stanton, a section from Ms. Culligan, a section from myself, um, speaking to just the highlights of some of the things going on. We think that might help to not only inform your knowledge about what's going on, but also to maybe promote some rich discourse here about some of the things going on. So we apologize, we've been a little bit slow in the uptake on that, but we've been a little busy with, uh, with some other, st other things. So we look forward to rolling that out um, at the second meeting in October once we get through the DESE visit, if that's acceptable to the chair? Yes. Okay. Um, and that is, uh, that is all I had for this evening. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Moving on to agenda item number eight, school committee actions. Vote to confirm Ms. Amelia Pelequin to the policy subcommittee. So moved. Second. Motion and second. Discussion? If none, all those in favor? Opposed? Unanimous for present. Moving, would you like to uh, comment? Uh, no, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to B, second reading of the policy file ADF wellness. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we waive the second reading of the policy. Second. Is motion a second? Just a discussion. Um, I'd just like to comment. It's a little different, but... Uh, in the spirit of transparency, what we usually do is, is read the, uh, as a committee action, and people can hear us talking about our policies, and we waive the reading first and second, and if it's amended, we usually amend it in the third reading when it's finalized instead of, you can amend it actually at any reading, but for to streamline it, if we do it in the end, it would be bad. I just want to comment on that. Any discussion on the uh, waiving of the reading? Mr. Chairman? Just that uh, if anybody has any questions in the public, that they're more than welcome to see the draft policy through the superintendent's office, correct? Absolutely. Thank you. All those in favor? <coughs> Opposed? Unanimous of all present. Moving on to C, second reading of policy file BHC, school committee dash staff communications. Do I hear a motion to waive? Mr. Mo uh, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we waive the second reading of policy BHC. Do I hear a second? Second. There's a motion and a second. Discussion? I no. have something. Um, and I brought this up at the policy subcommittee meeting. In the third paragraph of this uh, policy, the sentence, such visits will be regarded as informal expressions of interest in school affairs and not as inspections or visits for supervisory or administrative purposes. That still appears twice. So right. if we can correct like that, that for the third reading. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor? Opposed? Unanimous of all present. Moving on to D, first reading of policy file ECAF, security cameras in school buildings. Do I have a motion to waive the reading? Make a motion that we waive the first reading of policy ECAF. Second. There's a motion to second to waive. Discussion? Mr. Chairman, just for the public that uh, there are, I mean, this is a new policy through MASC. We did have somewhat of a policy, but uh, this is their new model policy for all security cameras in uh, the schools. It outlines who has the authority to look at cameras, where they're supposed to be located. 
and we've had discussion about the proper signage that needs to be uh, conducted for that. And if I may, Mr. Mr. Chair, uh, with, in response to that, Mr. Jovan, and we, I do have confirmation from the Director of Facilities that, in fact, we now have uh, labeled each of, our, each of the uh, campuses uh, with some kind of uh, signage with respect to camera uh, and the fact that the, the campuses are surveilled, uh, be it uh, in a more global way at some campuses and sometimes just at the, the means of entrance uh, to the schools. But that was brought up at Policy Subcommittee and has been addressed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor? Opposed? Unanimous of all present. Moving on to E, first reading of policy file IHBG, homeschooling. Do I have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we waive the first reading of policy IHBG, homeschooling. Second. It's a motion to second discussion. No discussion, all those in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. Moving on to F. Vote to appoint Steve Bliss as permanent superintendent of schools. So moved. Second. Who made the motion? Jill Condon made the motion no. and I, Amelia. I, excuse me. Jack. Jack Jovan made the motion. That was quick out of the gate. And Amelia Pelliquin seconded. There's a motion a second. Discussion. Mr. Jovan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm very uh, grateful that uh, Mr. Bliss had put his name forward for the permanent superintendent of schools. More importantly, it was very important um, that we were able to see the performance of Mr. Bliss during the period of time that he was the interim superintendent of schools. Uh, I made no bones about uh, my choice uh, for superintendent of schools right out of the gate. I think going back to several of the searches that I have been part of for superintendent of schools, um, with using two different search firms during that period of time, that the common uh, theme throughout that is if you have somebody in your district that you feel can accomplish the mission that you want to put forward, then there is no reason for you to continue a search. And I think that became evident with the performance of Mr. Bliss right out of the gate. Um, Mr. Bliss, I've known him from his first uh, tour of duty here in the town of Southbridge. Um, and has always been a tireless worker for the students and his staff. It became very evident that in his first day on the job that teachers and staff welcomed him with open arms and I think I was a big advocate at the beginning that we needed to set the tone um, in the direction of the school district and Mr. Bliss did that right out of the gate. Uh, more importantly with the upcoming uh, DESC review, I feel there is nobody better for us to get us through that um, study and to move our district forward. So I thank uh, the search committee for doing uh, their job as to go out in the search, but there was no doubt that we had the candidate with them. Thank you. Anybody else would like to speak at this time? If not, oh. I'd just like to thank the search committee for all of their hard work. I know you had a really large task, and I think that you guys have done a fantastic job. I know I've only been on the board for a week now, but I have to say I've been really impressed with Mr. Bliss's accessibility, his um, approachableness. He's so um, passionate about his job, and I'm really excited that one of the first things I'm doing on this board is voting for Mr. Bliss as the permanent superintendent. I look forward to having a long and productive working relationship with you, Mr. Bliss. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Colton. Thank you. Anybody else? Dr. Page. Just really quickly, uh, Mr. Chair, thank you. I, I would also like to express my sincere thanks for the uh, search committee. Um, uh, uh, most of you know throughout the year I was a very big proponent of having an open and transparent search that represented school committee members. And the, the representatives of that committee, I think, truly reflected people who actually knew uh, and know what a superintendent of schools does and what a superintendent of schools is responsible for. And uh, I, I would like to thank the search committee for recognizing the uh, uh, incredible talent that was before them and, uh, and, and forwarding that name as, as they did and, uh, and, and thank them for their time and consideration. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Any other discussion? Mr. Lebo? Through you, Mr. Chair. I would also like to say congratulations to Mr. Bliss. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that he is the man to have at the helm uh, at this point. Uh, the feeling in the school district uh, from the start of this school year has been a very positive feeling and I know that we have the right person for the job here right now. 
I would like to say thank you to Ms. Congdon and those community members who volunteered their time to make those meetings to uh, collect the surveys and, and all the data that was put forward. Um, thank you for your hard work and uh, look forward to moving forward this year and finishing off this year strong. Thank you. <clears throat> Any further discussion? If not, I just would like to comment. Um, it's been a, a journey. The journey that this town is taking started with an election, and the election was experience. Then the town council and school committee had to do appointments. The theory was experience. I think the appointment of Mr. Bliss just follows suit in, in a journey that the town is taking with experience. Six years, headed up one of the finest districts in the state, ranked in the country. But don't forget, when he first, when the election happened and he first got appointed, we had so much to do. And what happened in six weeks was to build an administrative cabinet, which he did swiftly, and he worked hard and qualified people. And the team begins. The journey continues. But to build, our student rep is back sitting here. We have a student rep finally again. I'm happy to see you here, Diego. Our administrative cabinet is seated and working hard. It wasn't too long ago when this town was tearing itself apart in town meetings and school committee meetings about the middle high school should have two administrators. We have two administrators. The building is split. The way we could split it legally for now, and we will take care of the permanent split later. But the journey begins, and it continues. And if anybody wants to be a part of a, a journey that's a lot of fun, a lot of disagreements and a lot of agreements, but the thing is we have a seated full school committee complement that's ready to go to work with a superintendent that has the experience that's needed to turn this district around. We have an administrative cabinet that's poised to turn this district around. As Bill Belichick says, that's all we have to do is do our job well. And we will continue to do that in this district. We have one way to go, gang. We have to win, and that's to turn this district around. This is the man that I will vote for tonight because he has what it takes to win. And with no further ado, I'd call for a roll call vote, please. Mr. Bishop? Yes. Mrs. Congdon? Yes. Mr. Jovan? Yes. Mr. Lazo? Yes. Mr. Olivo? Yes. Dr. Page? Yes. Ms. Peliquin? Yes. Seven yes. Been five years. Let's hear it from the <laughs> since we had a full-time appointed superintendent and it feels good to move forward with one that knows what has to happen. No further ado, we'll move on to, excuse oh, me, I'm if you'd like a comment, I'm sorry. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never short on words. <laughs> we'll we'll see last. how negotiations go. Yeah, we'll see in about 10 minutes. <laughs> No, I just want, I want to thank the school committee and uh, the search committee in particular for giving up so much time uh, to really initiate and to conduct a, a thoughtful, thorough, comprehensive search. Most of all, I really want to thank the administrative cabinet. Uh, it's a group of individuals who have come together so quickly, so well, so productively and professionally. And we are really poised to, to make change. We already are. And we can feel it. We can sense it in the, in the student body. And I honestly think what, and, and at the end of the day, we're here for the students, Diego. And uh, a couple Fridays ago, I had the pleasure of meeting with the senior class with Ms. Earls in the auditorium. And in my own mind, in my own heart, that sealed it for me uh, because it was so amazing to, to have that experience with the senior class and to just be able to communicate to them that we exist for you and by you, if not for, if not for the student body in, in the school system, for the 2,100 students, we have no reason to be here. And that, that is the fundamental truth of that. And um, so we look forward to helping and working tirelessly. The school committee who are voted and volunteers and elected officials uh, look forward to improving the school system. And we have a long journey to go. There's, there's no doubt about it. Uh, but it's not about how you fall down, it's how you get up. 
and, uh, and we will take that journey together. And I thank you for your vote of confidence to the school committee, to the voting, to everyone in the, in the public, and most of all, to my colleagues on the cabinet. Thank you. Moving on to agenda item <clears throat> number nine, unfinished business. Very unfinished business. If not, moving on to new business. A, the next regularly scheduled school committee meeting date will be held on Tuesday, October 6, 2015 at 7 p.m. in the council chambers. Moving on to agenda item number 11, members forum. Are there any members that would like to speak? Ms. Condon. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I'd like to welcome Ms. Pelloquin and Mr. Arroyo. Welcome to the school committee. Um, I would also, at this time, like to thank all members of the search committee for their time and commitment to the process. It was a pleasure working with them. I would also like to thank Mr. Mike Trombley for allowing us to go into the community center, Mrs. Margaret Morrissey and the staff of the Jacob Edwards Library, Big Bunny Market for allowing us to sit outside on a Saturday morning, the students in grades six through 12 for filling out the surveys and their honesty and time to write in responses, all of the faculty of our school district for their feedback and allowing us to go into the schools during open house and the entire community for taking the time to fill out surveys, provide us with comments and feedback. I'd also like to comment to the school committee on a course that I had the opportunity to attend with the Massachusetts Association of School Committees, the Division Four workshop on Saturday, September 12th at the Worcester Technical High School. It was on the opiate crisis in Massachusetts. Senator Jennifer Flanagan, the chair of the Special Senate Committee on Opiate Addiction, Prevention, Treatment, and Recovery Options, was the first presenter, along with Worcester County Sheriff Lou Evangelitis and the Eastern Public Schools nursing team. They focused on education and prevention in regards to educating youth. They said that they are trying to increase support services for addicts. They recommended starting discussions with your children starting in grade four by simply saying not to take your parents' medications. 90% of people that are incarcerated have addictions, and at some point, every family in America will be affected by drug or alcohol addiction. Most students say they started using drugs because they were bored. The sheriff showed a portion of his presentation called Face to Face, which he does for seventh, eighth, and ninth graders regarding utilizing cameras and software. Face to Face shows the effects of drug use on skin, teeth, and hair over time. They have technology to show before and after photos of students which have an immediate and lasting impact on appearance conscious adolescents. As a school committee, how we can play a role in the opiate crisis is to spread awareness to students, staff, families, and the community. We create policies that are up to date regarding new trends in e-cigarettes and vapor products, collaborate and engage local, state, and federal officials, and share resources to openly discuss the problems that are not just in our town, but our country face and try to do our part in raising awareness for this crisis. The school nurses from Easton mentioned that they now carry Narcan in all of their schools, not because of student overdoses, but to have on hand similar to AED devices if parents or families come into the school and have um, an issue. They discussed and recommended to school committees that districts conduct the YRBS, the youth, the youth Risk Behavior Survey, which our junior high and high school did last year, and that they recommended that this survey be conducted every two years. They recommended that all faculty be certified in CPR. They mentioned different motivational speakers that have gone to different districts to talk about addiction and symptoms to recognize. Lastly, they encourage parents to have discussions with your kids regarding drugs and alcohol to raise awareness and hopefully prevent a long, tough road down a very difficult path. Thank you for allowing me to share that. Thank you. Mr. Levo. Through you, Mr. Chair. Uh, <clears throat> I don't want it to seem like I'm the school committee member who's all about sports, but I do believe that sports is a uh, big part of high school life. I do believe that it teaches discipline, it teaches self-respect, it teaches teamwork, it teaches pride and unity. And I want to say congratulations or, great, or say great job to the boys and girls varsity soccer teams and their efforts against Bartlett and, um, and to the parents who came out there to support them. I would also like to say thank you to Mr. Montigny for the hype video. Uh, it was a great feeling and uh, it kind of hyped me up when I saw this video at work and I was just really psyched to be at the game. 
Now when I show up at the game and I see all the parents and people who were there, I was ecstatic. That's what Friday night football should be, to have parents, cousins, friends, family out there supporting our students in their efforts, win or lose, as long as you're there, then they know that we care. And everybody was there. I was happy to see them. Uh, it was a tough loss, but boys, that's not how you win. It's how you bounce back from that win. Do not let that loss define the rest of your season. You guys have a great, great team and look forward to, to attending the rest of the games. Also, congratulations to the JV for their uh, rebound win against Santasco on the uh, following Saturday. Um, thank you to the coaches, and again, thank you to the family, the friends, and uh, fans who came out and supported those uh, efforts. Thank you. Any other members who would like to speak at this time? <clears throat> Um, I'd just like to say thanks for the uh, warm welcome I've gotten from everybody. I'm really excited to be working with all of you. Um, I'd like to welcome Diego to the school committee. Thank you so much for serving. Um, and just one thing, I'm just one of the reasons why I'm so excited to be working with Mr. Bliss as the superintendent is his just excellent communication skills. And on that note, I'd like to say thank you for proposing something that I was actually going to ask for with your um, your uh, upcoming administrative reports. On the town council side, we get a weekly report from the town manager and the department heads. And I was wondering if there was something like that that was happening on the school side. So this is great news for me. So it was exactly what I was looking for. So thanks. Perfect. Thank you. Any other discussion by any other members? If not, moving on to executive session, agenda item number 12A, pursuant to MGLC 30A, 21A3, to discuss the strategy with respect of collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the governmental bar government's bargaining or litigation position. And the chair so declares, one, food service workers contract, Two superintendents contract. Do I hear a motion to go into executive session? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second, second by Ms. Pelliquin. Roll call. Mrs. Congdon? Yes. Mr. Jovan? Yes. Mr. Lazo? Yes. Mr. Olivo? Yes. Dr. Page? Yes. Ms. Pelliquin? Yes. Mr. Bishop? Yes. Seven, yes. We will adjourn into executive session only to come out in open session to vote to ratify or the agenda item of the school committee and food service workers of July 1, 2015 and adjournment. Right now we'll adjourn to executive session. Thank you. <laughs>